James, it's Miss Shannon. I miss you all so much. As we move out of the winter season, we move into the spring season, which brings with it flowers and bugs and all sorts of fun things. So today I'm going to read you, to this, read you a story called Big Bird Brings Spring to Sesame Street. All right, here we go. Big Bird Brings Spring to Sesame Street by Lauren Collier Swindler. Big Bird looked down Sesame Street and everything was covered with a thick layer of white snow. Big Bird sighed. It had been a long winter and he was tired of looking at plain white snow. Big Bird walked through the park and thought about all the things he couldn't do because of the snow. He couldn't ride his unicycle down Sesame Street. He couldn't play in the sandbox in the playground and he couldn't roller skate on the sidewalk. Besides, winter is so gloomy, thought Big Bird. I wish spring were here. Suddenly, Big Bird had a wonderful idea. <gasps> I'll buy some flowers to put in my nest. Then it will look like spring is already here. So Big Bird walked down to Mr. McIntosh's store and bought him six of his favorite flowers. I feel better already, thought Big Bird, as he walked back toward Sesame Street with his bouquet of six beautiful flowers. Let's count the flowers together. One, two, three, four, five, six. On his way to his nest, Big Bird stopped at Count's Castle. Ah, uh, Big Bird, what a be what beautiful flowers, cried the Count. Let me count them. One beautiful flower, two beautiful flowers, three, four, five, six beautiful flowers. Big Bird, I love counting your beautiful flowers. Gee, I didn't buy flowers to count them, said Big Bird. I bought them to remind me of spring. Would you like to keep this, prinky, this pretty pink daisy? You can count all of its petals. Wonderful, cried the Count. I also love counting flower petals. One pretty pink flower petal, two pretty pink flower petals, three. <gasps> Big Bird walked down Sesame Street carrying his five flowers. He stopped to watch Marie shovel snow from the sidewalk in front of Fix-It Shop. Oops, Maria slipped and fell in the snow. Oh, Maria, are you hurt? asked Big Bird as he helped her stand up. No, Big Bird, I'm not hurt, but I'm tired of winter and shoveling snow, she said. Here, Maria, said Big Bird, you may have one of my flowers. It'll help you feel happy again. Thank you, Big Bird, said Maria, taking the orange tiger lily. How would you feel if Big Bird gave you one of his flowers? I know, I'd feel really happy if he shared with me. Big Bird walked down down Sesame Street with the four flowers he had left, and he found Grover sitting sadly on the steps. Oh my goodness, said Grover unhappily. Furry old Grover is very blue. Of course you're blue, said Big Bird. You have blue fur. No, no, Big Bird. I mean, I'm very sad, explained Grover. I cannot ride my scooter in the snow. Maybe the blue pansy will make you feel better, said Big Bird, and he gave it to Grover. Big Bird looked down on his three flowers, and he noticed that one of them was bent over. Uh-oh, said Big Bird, holding up the purple iris. iris. This flower stem is broken. The lid of the trash can clanged open. I love things that are broken, said Oscar the Grouch, leaning out of his can. Well, gee, Oscar, I guess you, have, you may have my purple iris. Thanks, bird, said Oscar. Grouches like flowers that are bent and broken. <laughs> he grabbed the purple iris and slammed down the lid of the trash can. Big Bird clutched his last two flowers, and then he saw Ernie. Hi, Big Bird, said Ernie. You look cold. I'm so cold my tail feathers are frozen, answered Big Bird. Where are you going? I'm going to see Betty Lou. She's sick in bed with the flu. I wish I had something to take her to cheer her up. Oh, said Big Bird, looking down at his last two flowers. Do you think she would like the yellow daffodil? Oh, yes, thank you, Big Bird. Ernie took the flower and went into 123 Sesame Street. 
and Big Bird went into Hooper's store to get warm. Bert was sitting at the counter, sadly sipping his figgy fizz. What's wrong, Bert? asked Big Bird. You look kind of glum. I lost my favorite paperclip, wailed Bert. I dropped it in a snowdrift. Now I'll have to wait until the snow melts to find it. Oh, Big Bird, what if my paperclip gets all rusted by then? Don't worry, Bert, said Big Bird. Your clip will, be, will still be there in the spring. Oh, Big Bird, sighed Bert. Then he looked at the single rose Big Bird was holding. Say, what are you going to do with that beautiful rose, he asked. Uh, er, I'm going to give it to you, Bert. And Big Bird gave Bert his last flower and left Hooper's store. Empty-handed, Big Bird walked up Sesame Street towards his nest. He had given away all six of his flowers. Oh, well, he thought. Soon it will be spring. When he got to the lamppost, Big Bird turned around, and Sesame Street had look, looked different. The plain white snow-covered street was splashed with bright colors. The flowers Big Bird had given to his friends were blooming up and down Sesame Street. Big Bird had brought spring to Sesame Street. The end. What did Big Bird do throughout the story? Was he making his friends happy or sad? Would you feel happy if Big Bird gave you a flower? All right, you guys, as we're ending winter and heading into spring, we'll be so excited to look at all of the beautiful flowers that bloom. Thank you guys so much for reading with me. I'll see you guys soon.